united or is a lot of you guys together but a lot of you guys together helps. Is that yeah, it helps, helps. Strength in numbers, numbers on many levels. On I many levels. Close with my eldest, my, my, my older sister, I'm very close with her. I talk yeah. to my brother. Sometimes we're on four way, we just we talk, like we talk a lot. Yeah. And you know, like we encourage a lot. Even as, since I've gotten older too, I've gotten really closer with my mom. Me and my dad has always had this relationship well, because we love sports, but well, my mom thinks I've gotten better. Now, Kim, I want to ask you a question. So you spoke about how certain things that um, affected your mom and growing up, you have taken it into perspective and applied it to your life. Try not to get hurt. Okay. Okay. All right, so one of the things that kind of affected my mom, I think, I think maybe when my mom was about 24, 26, she had met in a car accident, like oh. many years ago, right? So as I said, my mom was always a really beautiful woman, sexy as hell, nice from bottom, everything, nice, plump. <laughs> And she big in body, but me skinny because I get it from my dad's side of the family. Mm -hmm. And um, but anyways, she met in a car. So before that, she was working and everything, and she met in a car accident. And then she ended up from what my mom told me, she almost lost her life. Mm -hmm. And but I didn't realize it until afterwards because what started happening is my mom started having seizures. Um my mom started having seizures where she would faint and growing up now, I didn't know what was wrong because he, he and I, they always tell you mom is sick. And they, and then at the same time, they were making it seem like that she was cursed or whatever. No, you know, you never, when people don't really understand certain things, they're, they're automatically associated to, you know, the spiritual stuff. So, when you go to college now, you start realizing, no, it's not a spirit. My mother had an accident that hit her head and that caused that to happen. Okay. Now, despite her having that situation, what I really love about her, she kept on going with her life. Um, she, would, she would work doing jobs here and there. But the mere fact is she never gave up. She's still alive up to this day. Um. And were days and what made me realize my mom's situation when I came here there was um and I was working at a law firm I met one young man that fell on the ground he I saw him seizing and everything and I was like holy shit my mom isn't the only one who has this other people in the world have oh, it also. the realization that your mom isn't alone yes and then I because I felt so embarrassed at one point, I didn't know what the hell was wrong with my mother. Why, what, you know, I didn't, I did not know. Now recently at my job, and this is why I say it's important to share with your kids certain things that are happening, because it will help, it will help somebody. Understand certain things in life. Yeah. Understand certain things. Don't hide it from them, share it. No, um, then what ended up happening is she, so when recently at my job, no, there's a young lady that came in and she started telling me how she just started telling me all to the blue how she has epilepsy mm. and how she had it like two years ago. It started coming on to her, and then I, and then she started to tell me she had a young baby and how they told her it can be genetic. Mm -hmm. Then I came home now with it on my mind, so I went home and I said, "Shit, I need to ask my mother what's going on here." I mean, never hear my mother talk about her father. That's a nick, as I said. A lot of things we hide from our kids. Nobody mm -hmm. should talk about her father. Oh, did you find out that my mom's dad had died when she was a kid, um, young child? Mm -hmm. so maybe that to kind of have a strain on my own grandmother where she was a single parent raising her. And mm -hmm. so maybe that's how she ended up falling into the arms of my father. You know, I could get pregnant at such a young age. Possibly, you know, definitely a possibility. She didn't mm -hmm. have the guidance of her own dad or the protection of her own dad. So what ended up happening, you know, um, so I said to her, come on over here talk about my grandfather. She said, um, he died. So I said, oh, what happened? And she started telling me how he apparently had the same epilepsy. Oh, so genetic. Yes. And then, as I said, something started happening to me and I was like, mom. And then, as I said, the young lady said something to me at my job that you know, she started having it two years ago. So... I just start to hope and pray that I am not getting it through. But according to Jamaican people, they say, you know what I call it. 
but I can go and call the word spirits. Yeah. But, uh, what, I was, what I was trying to ask you now, Kim, that mm -hmm. seeing that uh, you try to be on the straight and narrow path because you never wanted to, to be a specific in the sense of like your mother's situation. Uh, even though you went on that positive journey and whatnot, there were some times, there was a time in your life when you, you met some challenges, right? Yeah. Well, for me, the challenges I mainly over encountered was family because I was, as I said, I was kind of like the upload of my great grand aunt. I, she had me during the house, but to be honest, too, I think she was kind of using me as a little slave girl. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't look on it that way. Housework. I never Housework. If I kill a girl. <laughs> I was for kill, but to be honest, I was always a kind of a clean person as I keep saying. So even if, even if she never gave me no house work, I always clean. From from me young, I just never like dirty clean. And I still must stay. She never for me to sing to me. I just still must stay naturally. And so, but the thing is, the family situation for me, because I was away from my grandma, and my mom, and my dad. What happened to me is that I ended up, I got raped. And by a family member who we trusted and it was um it was my she was supposed to be my grand aunt was gone so what ended up happening though know, as i said grandma was my protector mm -hmm. you no know, she, she loved me grandma came to america um when i was in either five or whatever when grandma, i was either five, grandma or great grand grandma great, great grandma great right grandma. oh came here and she spent normally what happened is that her kids would bring her up to come and spend the summer yeah. and then somebody has to keep you up here and bring her up no so you know when they bring you up uh, things that come from far in and far level yeah. come one but the nice things that come back no yeah. mm. because you know you, you try and look to who next to send your, your child to stay with that's why i don't like this to me man i think i always said if i have kids i'm not eating them to know damn family mm -mm. Because you, because you have to keep a watchful eye, definitely. You have to keep a watchful eye as a parent. Mm -hmm. um, so she sent me there to go and stay because she was supposed to spend six months here in America. She spent the six months and I was there with my aunt. But the six months with my aunt and what ended up happening is that her husband started to be you didn't know what the hell was wrong, what the hell was going on. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> All right, no problem. So, yes, so as I was saying, because I lived with her, you know, she's, no, no, I'm no longer under the protection of my grandma. Okay. Okay. I'm, I, I am now around these people for six months. Unbeknownst, no, the place where she ended up sending, I guess, because my auntie, um, family, because in a, them time that them please that almost come from country, them is Kingstonians, and then in a of mind, they're better than you are. And yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. realize that these were like, because you learn about this when you start go college, you know, you never know what, you know, it's something all right, because you feel what's going on around you. But you didn't really know what it was called or what they were doing. But I guess maybe none of them probably didn't want to have me around. So, as I said, they're not, I'm not their kid. So. Why the hell would they take it upon themselves to be interested? No, um, I wish I kind of wondered why my Bernard didn't make a better decision on in regards to that. But as you got older, you got to see why she probably made that decision too. <laughs> but anyways, um, because I think they didn't want to deal with me because in their mind, you know, I'm a little country girl according to them. I never really feel no way of being around her because she never labeled me as you know we label people and we start making people feel like these are what okay. she did. yeah so she never did none of that to me she kind of as i said she really loved me um and she protected me as well so what ended up happening is that um she spent the, the six months i don't know if she spent it in florida or if she spent it here in new york but most of her family is here in new york right mm -hmm. in this um part of Brooklyn. And she has I know she had one daughter in Florida and one son that's in Florida too. No mind you she spent the six months there and as 
I thought she probably thought again she was doing the right thing, was having their own door sleeping under their protection. Being there, um, my I think as I said, she was either my run on. I know she related to my biological grandmother. So she was basically you know, taking over everything. Um, I don't know if they were paying her to have me there or what I don't know what the situation was. Okay. The, the, the living the living situation was not the most ideal because I was living in um a nice big house in on Mountain View in a nice in a very somewhat okay neighborhood. But at the end of the day it was considered a very good neighbor a better neighborhood. But then things started happening with the whole political stuff and then it wasn't as good as it used to be. Mm. But mind you it was it was a better home to me. So we were there and then afterwards you know, things started happening with them. And I never as a kid you don't know what to do. <laughs> as a kid you're like you're gonna stay quiet about it. I was threatened at on several occasions and so so like this happened more than once no that what? was one time when i because remember i was supposed to spend the time period there because the six months yeah. the six months and it just started happening then afterwards you no know, um that experience and that encounter happened I didn't know who to turn to and didn't know what to do. And you didn't probably have a phone that time to phone your grand your grandaunt, right? No, and you, who the hell why would you be thinking are you scared out there, man? You don't know what the hell you don't know what the hell is going. And just for clarification, um how old were you when when this actually happened? Like when you like when you got raped? Okay. Um maybe about age I was oh. young. I don't remember the age, but it was a very young age. And then he basically threatened you afterwards that if you tell, then then this is going to happen. Right. And I kept it for years. I never told a soul in my life. I never revealed it to a pastor, my mother, my grandma. I did not because I was scared. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, I kind of looked past that because then I started to read the part, um, about my grandmother was like an advent christian and whatnot she right. religious she always playing stuff mm -hmm. about god and telling you oh god this and god that so you need to kind of feel like oh there's a safe place mm -hmm. yeah so i kind of had a strong faith and developed that from a very young age and then i as i said i'm always a read or some every time when we when after we finish my chores on the weekend guess what we end up with reading books <laughs> Yeah. It was, and I always love the artist stuff so I always sit on you know the house with my little cousin them outside around far and down and I say you get my little ass back in the house and I sit on and read and my grandmother never let me up and down far road anyways so yeah.